Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's Monday, which means mail, but first, I want to do a response for um, Bob's Cards. Uh, he's running a 300 subscriber contest, and if you guys haven't been paying attention to YouTube, there's a lot of amazing contests going on right now. I literally have five contests that I still need to make responses for. Uh, Scott, Scotty Tradition, is doing a 200 sub contest. Geez, Mikey is doing a contest. Hold on, I got a list here. I'll read them to you so you guys can go out and check them out. Uh, Rob's Cards, which I'm doing here in a second, and I'm, I'm doing his right now because it's due tonight. Uh, Cuban Collector, Jonathan's doing a Christmas contest. And of course, Dave, Blue Jacket 66 is doing a contest, and a lot of people have already responded to that because the prizes he's offering are phenomenal. So you definitely need to check that out. Um, but for Bob's contest, he's doing a 300 sub contest, like I said, and he wanted to know what our, who our favorite YouTubers were, our three favorite YouTubers. And quite honestly, for me, that is an impossible task. There are literally dozens of channels that when I see a video of theirs come up, I have to watch it. And right now there is so much content on YouTube. It's phenomenal. I mean, there are times when it's, there's not a whole lot every day, but right now with all these contests going on and so many people becoming involved in our community. It is just blowing up in terms of content. And I I literally spent three hours last night watching YouTube videos. Julie's like, ah, can you please turn that off? I'm like, no, just one more, honey. Just one more. And it, it's great. The stuff y'all are putting out is phenomenal. And uh, so for me to pick three favorite YouTubers is completely not doing justice to so many people that I have to watch um, and I would name them, but I would probably leave somebody off and offend somebody. So I am going to say three YouTubers names only because that's part of the contest. And these are just three guys that I, I'm really close to. And I feel like are really my hobby brothers. Uh, there are a lot of you out there that fit into that category. Um, these three guys just happen to be guys that uh, I talk to the most. And uh, that doesn't include Garrett, who is card cutter. But he is uh, deployed right now. When Garrett's uh, in <laughs> in the States, he and I talk almost every day. Um, but Card Cutter, so he's my uh, kind of honorable mention, I guess. Uh, the other three are Ray from Philly. Uh, Ray and I talk a lot, uh, multiple times a week. We talk, and uh, he's just a great guy, has a great channel. We're incredibly like-minded around our collections, and we just get along really well. And he's just a really nice guy, so we uh, we have a great time talking, talking cards and life and everything. Uh, the second guy I'll mention is uh, Nuff Said Cards, Andrew. I got to meet him in person for the first time at the National. Spent a lot of time with him at the National, and really enjoyed him as a person. Uh, really chill guy. Uh, great personality. Again, we have a lot of similar hobby interests, and so that is a great connection. And I just love what he does and the, the kind of person that he is. And the third guy, third channel that I'll mention is Those Back Pages, and it's Eric. Again, another guy that I uh, got to spend a lot of time with at the National and really enjoyed hanging out with him and just getting to know him on a personal basis. We've, you know, we text a lot. We talk on the phone a lot. We chat a lot in y'all's live streams. And just he and I are, uh, again, kindred spirits in the in the hobby. And really, his heart is really big for the for the community, for the hobby. He just wants everybody to get along, gets uh, just, you know, encourages everybody to share their knowledge and keep collecting and do what you do. And that's just a great message that he's always sending out there with every video that he does. And I think that's fantastic for this community. So those are my three. I love all the rest of you that are out there. Um, this isn't a, a slight on anyone, but I uh, had to name three. So that's what I named, but I love all of you guys. So now let's show you guys some mail that I got in the mail today. Hang on one second. All right. So First up here, um, I looked at, on Black Friday, there were some deals from uh, Mill Creek Sports, and they're a big distributor out of Seattle, 
and they had some really cool deals. And one of them that I saw was this really cool Hall of Fame commemorative uh, 8x10 by Frank Thomas. And I'm not usually an 8x10 guy just because they're hard to store and, you know, I don't have a whole lot of room for stuff. So, well, I do have a lot of room. Who am I kidding? But they're just bigger and, and kind of difficult for me. So I couldn't pass this up, though. It was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks maybe shipped. And I just loved it. I thought it was a really cool piece of the big hurt. And uh, so Wayne will really like this one. He knows who he is. And uh, he's a big White Sox guy. And uh, so this is an 8x10. I'll kind of scroll down. You can see it. It's uh, signed in beautiful, big signature there. And it's got a little PSA DNA sticker on it. And uh, so there's an 8x10 of Frank Thomas. Hold on one second because I'm going to put up my deal because all the rest are slabs. So hang on. All right, back to a little more traditional view of things for me. Um, the first piece here, let me move this up a little if I can without messing it up, is this is another piece that I got from Mill Creek Sports. Really great because uh, I love Greg Maddox. I think he was an amazing pitcher. And his autograph is not pricey pricey, but certainly more expensive. And I think I paid 50 bucks for this and it was already slabbed. It's a rookie card and I just really couldn't resist it. I had to buy it. Uh, so cheap Hall of Famer autographs for me are, are if you want to get money out of my wallet, that's the easiest way to do it is to give me cheap Hall of Famer autographs. And Greg Maddox's scribble of an autograph is hilarious, but uh, I didn't have a rookie card signed by him and I love the 87 Fleer update, which is what this card is. So there's my Greg Maddox that I got. That's all the things from Mill Creek. The other two are slabs for my three decade set. First up is a 61 Tops Whitey Herzog. This is an excellent mint six, so a good collector grade here for this card. Uh, obviously, Whitey was a Hall of Fame manager, but I get all any card where they're on a Tops card, if player or manager, or became a player than a manager or whatever, um, I'm gonna get it. So um, if they were a player first, you know, really good player and became a manager, I'll still get those two. So there's Whitey Herzog and a six. I wish I would have gotten this card the other day because uh, it would have dovetailed perfectly with my autograph that I got of this guy. But I love this set, this little subset that 61 Tops had in it for kind of great accomplishments in the game. Uh, Babe Ruth has a card. Lou Gehrig has a card. Lots of Hall of Famers. Ed Walsh. I think uh, has a card um, so just really cool stuff this is a 61 tops commemorating Johnson hurling three shutouts in four days that's insane he threw 110 shutouts in his career three of them in four days this is a six but this card really presents well beautiful card here and uh, on the back it talks about that accomplishment I'll turn it over so if you want to pause that and read it, you can. Talks about what he did and when he did it. Um, actually, it doesn't even say when he did it, what year. Oh, yeah, it does. 1908, up at the top right. You can see that there. So 110 years ago, <laughs> Walter Johnson threw three shutouts in four days. So there you go, guys. That's my mail. Uh, congratulations again to Bob on 300 subs. And... We'll catch you guys soon. Keep collecting.